Hey everybody, in today's video I am working with Remy Forte hair. They sent me this 13 by 4 lace frontal wig in like a milk tea brown color to show you guys. This wig was definitely giving more like a rose gold to me. Like there's like a pink tone to it. I'm sure you see um, more than it looking like a milk tea brown or an ash blonde. It was definitely giving more of rose goldish and that's how it looked in like all lighting. Um, I thought it was maybe just my camera in my bathroom, but no, it was all lighting. But I'm not complaining because I think the color turned out really cute. So I did go ahead and cut my lace off because the lace was like super white. Um, so I was like, it was just kind of throwing me off. So I was like, let me just go ahead and cut it and then I will deal with it later on. So I believe I have 22 inches and this is 150% density. I will say that I love how this wig turned out in the end. I think it was really pretty, really cute. But I will say that for this wig, it should be fuller, um, especially towards the ends. It was a little sparse towards the ends. And the hair was soft, but you can definitely tell that it has been like processed, like the coloring or like the blonde. You can definitely tell when you touch it, but the hair was soft. It wasn't like rough or like super damaged feeling. It didn't feel like that, but it was manageable. And there wasn't very much shedding I did get a little bit of shedding but that's pretty normal with wigs um, I don't expect a wig to not shed because it is sewn on like it's not connected to my scalp even my own hair shed so that's not a deal breaker for me at all so I decided to do this wig glueless since it is a glueless wig I just um, tightened the adjustable elastic band that is inside of the cap and I decided to do like some little waves because the hair was just reminding me like the color was reminding me of mermaid for some reason I was getting mermaid from this so my curling technique may look a little weird but this is how I get my really cute waves with my curling iron I can't really explain it but you see how I'm doing it I'm literally just like twisting it and it's gonna look like a little spiral but in the end we're gonna comb it out and it's gonna look so good so that's just what I wanted to do for this wig because the color I think just looked so pretty with wavy hair. Even though I feel the hair could have been fuller and the color um, was off a little bit, I still really like this wig, especially whenever I like tinted the lace with my makeup and everything came together. I really, really love how this turned out. Like this is so cute. I don't normally play with color. I'm just like um, the lightest I'll go is probably like highlights on a wig I love black hair but this was just so cute and fun to do especially with summer ending it was like a cute little summer look so I was definitely like feeling myself towards the end of the video because I'm like mm, should I play with color more because this is really cute on me I feel like I feel like it went really well with my skin tone so all in all I like how this hair turned out I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box if you want to check out Remy Forte's website also comment down below if you like how this wig looks if you like how it turned out comment down below and give this video a thumbs up so I'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and finish watching everything don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already and I will talk to you guys next time bye guys So they grab hold of my hand And let's pretend the cold was ours They say it don't really dance Just one close step Now when the music is moving too fast Grab my hand a little tighter Don't be afraid to move a little closer Girl, there's something about you that makes me wanna say